Welcome to Dentline. I'm Peter Allen. From hula hoops to miniskirts, fads have been a rite of passage for every generation. But there's a current form of expression that can do so much damage to your mouth, the American Dental Association has taken a stand against it. Oral piercing. Today, we're looking specifically at tongue piercing. Desta Spence has been piercing people for about 12 years. Tongue piercings can cause a number of complications with your oral health. For one, if they are rubbing up against your enamel, you're going to have enamel loss. Enamel loss can lead to increased potential of cavities and ultimately of exposing the root of the tooth and extreme pain. People also tend to play with their piercings. The constant banging of the jewelry against the teeth can act like a wrecking ball. When I got my tongue piercing done, I was eating too fast. I bit right down on it. I spent $800 worth of tooth out. Austin Rose had oral piercings for several years. And then eventually, you know, I started noticing that my, my gums were more sensitive, my teeth were more sensitive, and I didn't have any idea what was really going on. And I spoke to one of my dentists, and he said, you know, it's probably because you have this tongue ring and you've had it for so long. And I'm like, oh, well, there you go. When you pierce your tongue, you're intentionally putting an open wound into your mouth. Your tongue is covered with bacteria. The bacteria can now enter your bloodstream and invade your entire system. How do you know if you have an infection? Warning signs of an infection would be heat, pus, discolored discharge from the piercing site, extreme pain, fever. Those are the things you would want to seek medical attention for. Still not convinced this is a bad idea? If you insist on doing this, understand that most states don't regulate piercing parlors, but reputable practitioners follow specific guidelines. What you should look for is a shop that's clean, and that's an obvious choice. Uh, professional, that means that they're going to address whatever questions that you have and be able to, to answer them to the fullest satisfaction. You can look for certifications such as the Association of Professional Piercers. The autoclave that we use is exactly like the one you would find in a dental office. And if the piercer you choose doesn't spend a lot of time talking about follow-up care, walk away from the shop. So what's the last word on piercings? Well, first off, if somebody wanted to get their tongue pierced, I would suggest you know, they don't. Um, simply because you know, it, it does damage to the inside of your mouth and you only have one set of teeth. And uh, the better you take care of them, the longer they're going to last, the more happy you're going to be and the prettier smile you're going to have. Remember, this is just a fad. If you're thinking about getting any kind of oral piercing, talk to your dentist first. For Dentline, I'm Peter Allen.